Hi, Danny Meyer again. I want to talk to you about uh, continuing on the word Allah and where its source was. And uh, it should not come as a surprise that the word Allah was not something invented by uh, Mohammed or revealed the first time in the Quran. The well-known Middle East scholar, uh, Mr. Gibbs, has pointed out that the reason that Mohammed never had to explain who Allah was in the Quran is that his listeners had already heard about Allah long before Muhammad was ever born. Uh, Dr. Arthur Jeffrey, one of the foremost Western Islamic scholars in modern times and professor of Islamic uh, and Middle East studies at Columbia University notes, the name Allah, as the Quran itself is witness, was well known in pre-Islamic Arabia. Indeed, both it and its feminine form, Alet, A-L-L-A-T, are found not infrequently uh, among the uh, Theophorus names in inscriptions from North Africa. Uh, the word Allah comes from the compound Arabic word A-L-I-L-A-H, A-L-I-L-A-H, Al is the definitive article. V and I L A H is an Arabic word for God. It is not a foreign word. It is not even Syriac word for God. It is pure Arabic. Uh, neither is Allah a Hebrew or Greek word for God as found in the Bible. Allah is a purely Arabic term used in reference to an Arabian deity. Allah is a proper name applicable only to their Arabs' peculiar God. According to the Encyclopedia of Religion, Allah is a pre-Islamic name corresponding to the Babylonian Bel. For those who find it hard to believe that Allah was a pagan name for a peculiar pagan Arabian deity in pre-Islamic times, the following quotations may be helpful. Allah is found in Arabic inscriptions prior to Islam. Encyclopedia Britannica. The Arabs before the time of Mohammed accepted and worshipped after a fashion a supreme god called Allah. Allah was known to the pre-Islamic Arabs, who was one of the uh, Meccan deities. Allah appears in pre-Islamic poetry by frequently frequency of usage. Al-I-L-A-H was contracted to Allah, frequently attested to in pre-Islamic poetry. The name Allah goes back before Muhammad. Uh, the origin of this Allah goes back to uh, pre-Muslim times. Allah is not a common name meaning God or a God, and the Muslim must use another word or form if he wishes to indicate any other than his own peculiar deity. To the testimony of the above standard reference works, we add those of such scholars as Henry Preserve Smith of Harvard University who has stated, Allah was already known by uh, name to the Arabs. The Bible and, and Islam are the influence of the Old and New Testament on the religions of Muhammad in New York. Dr. Kenneth Craig, former editor of the prestigious scholarly journal Muslim World and an outstanding modern Western Islamic scholar whose works are generally published by Oxford University Comments. The name Allah is also evident in archaeological and literary remains of pre-Islamic Arabia. Dr. W. Montgomery Watt, who was professor of Arabic and Islamic studies at Edinburgh University and visiting professor of Islamic studies at College France at Georgetown University and the University of Toronto, has done extensive work on the pre-Islamic concept of Allah. He concludes, in recent years I have become increasingly convinced that for an adequate understanding of the career of Muhammad and the origins of Islam, great importance must be attached to the existence in Mecca 
of belief in Allah as a high God. In a sense, this is a form of paganism, but it is so different from paganism as commonly understood that it deserves separate uh, treatment. Caesar Farah, in his book on Islam, concludes his discussion of the pre-Islamic meaning of Allah by saying, There is no reason, therefore, to accept the idea that Allah passed to the Muslims from the Christians and Jews. Uh, according to Middle East scholar E.M. Wary, whose translation of the Quran is still used today in pre-Islamic times, Allah worship, as well as the worship of Baal, were both astral religions in that they involved the worship of the sun, the moon, and the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you that the Allah that the Islamic people talk about today and the Muslims is not something that was revealed to the false prophet Muhammad. This has been in existence pre-Muhammad for hundreds of years. Don't be stupid, be educated. 